Well, 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 look who's back out here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Nick and I are out here grinding again. Thank you for tuning in to NB Edits. Today we've got an awesome video for you guys. We are out here chasing more early ice Wisconsin walleyes. As you guys have probably seen, we went out the other night and uh, well, we didn't do too bad. We ended up getting a few walleyes topside and one of them was a pretty nice fish. Hopes for tonight is to get into something possibly even bigger. We are on a body of water that we love fishing. We weren't sure if we were gonna be able to get out here, but we came down at sunset the whole lake's frozen and we are ready to rock. Now, last year, we filmed our very first walleye video out on this very lake. Now, if you guys have not seen that, I'm gonna tell you right now, pause this video, go and watch that one, then come on back. And for all of you who have seen it, well, then you know why we are so excited to be out on this body of water. Last year, the very first flag of the season for me, I caught like a nine pound walleye, which up here in Northern Wisconsin is a dinosaur. That thing was probably 20 years old. And it's just super cool to see fish like that. And this body of water specifically is not a numbers lake at all. This is a lake you'll sit out here for eight hours and maybe get two flags but all the fish that you get should be super sized um, really cool to see so like the adrenaline rush of seeing flags out here is something we wait all year for and like Brandon said we came down here and it was completely locked and we instantly were jumping for joy you guys should have seen us it was awesome but we're down here it's after dark um, with us getting down at sunset it took us a while to get set up we wanted to get that all set up so we don't miss the prime time bite which you know it's dark we still haven't gotten a flag yet but uh we're waiting we're in that waiting period so i guess from here on out the rest of the video if you guys are watching this is hopefully us slaying some big walleyes and yeah i'm excited this should be a great video we're just gonna sit out here and wait for a little while hopefully it won't be too long and we'll get that first flag Woo wee, boys and girls we got ourselves our first blinking light and guys this gets me all sorts of riled up because i know the quality of fish that come out of this lake sometimes coming out here it can be an absolute grind we can be out here for hours before we get our first flag there are nights where we spend hours out here and we don't even get flags but that's fairly rare but it has happened so to already have a blinking light i shouldn't even say it already i mean we've been waiting for over an hour now for this first flag but we've got one so let's go ahead check it out might have to chisel out this hole it's very cold outside tonight all right Ooh, it almost looks like a little turn there just a little one i'm gonna go ahead and take the gloves off just because this might get wet and i don't want to have cold hands all night i got the little inner layer on my eskimo gloves keeping me warm out here tonight Ooh, Bobber's right down there. Might have picked it up and dropped it. Seeming like it. Feels like he got the minnow too. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. that little bugger. He sure did. Mm. Empty treble. Wow. Okay, see what I mean? This lake can be difficult for us. It's all right, we're gonna go ahead, grab another minnow. We're gonna get him on there. On this one, you can see, I've actually got two beads on there. We've been kind of playing around with different ideas. Some years we use them and some years we don't. This year, I've got, I think two of my tip-ups have beads and one or two of them don't, but you know, just trying different stuff. We use orange beads, purple beads, all kinds of fun stuff. So, like I said, we're gonna go ahead, get this guy set back up and wait for our next flag. Tip up number two. Ah. If you guys don't know this, usually when Brad and I are walleye fishing, we both just set all six flags and we'll just take turns. We don't care if I take one that has his name on it or if he takes one with my name on it. We're sharing, we're filming the same content. So with him taking that last one, it means it's my turn. First one was a drop. See what the heck this one has. At least we know that the last one didn't get tripped by the minnow because the minnow wasn't there. So had to have been a fish. Hopefully this one also has a, some life here. Let's see. Let's see what we got. 
fish. Not very big though. Bobber. Not very big, pretty small. Oh, the wind is switching on us. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. Is that not the smallest walleye you've ever seen come out of here, Brandon? <laughs> That's gotta be close. That's a pretty rare sight. Holy cow, and this one's all speckled. It's usually not a good sign. I don't know what the heck that means, but got spots all over them. Huh. Huh. Interesting. Well, that one's not even a keeper size. We go ahead and get them out of the wind here while I unhook them. First walleye. I have been on that uh, small walleye trend so far this year. I've caught fish, which is great. I mean, it's early ice. I didn't even think we were gonna get out on this lake, but yeah, normally we see blinking red lights and I'm thinking 10 pounder. I'm not thinking uh, 12 incher. I know it's cold, but you're back in the water. There he goes. All right, well, <coughs> not the giant I was hoping for, but again, first one, go ahead, reel up that line, get a middle one, and hopefully it won't be too long, and we'll see another blinking red light. Oh boy, well, just got another one of them blinking lights. This time, my goal is to catch a fish. I'm gonna try and not miss this one, guys. I know we didn't really get to talk about it too much, but uh, when we came down and got everything all set up, we forgot to mention, we're on pretty solid ice. In the last video, not so much. I honestly was like, uh, I was fairly sketched to even go out on it. Nick's like, we gotta do it, you know, we just gotta. So we built up the courage, we went out there. We were on about an inch and a half in some areas. It was not great, guys, I'm not gonna lie. But tonight, we're on a lot better ice, a lot safer. This did actually lock up a couple days ago, but it was still pretty sketchy. But we're able to get out here tonight and we're super excited for it. So before we get to the tip up here, I did wanna mention, one of the things that you're looking for right now are weeds. Sand to rock transition with some weeds is where you're gonna find these walleyes. That's what we're set up on tonight. That's about what 90% of this lake is. So let's go ahead. Let's go see what we've got on this flag. Oh, 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 okay. Get the gloves off. I'm gonna leave the tip off light. Here we go. You ready? Yeah. Got him. Decent weight. Decent weight. Yeah, decent weight. Doesn't okay. feel huge, okay. but some head shakes. He's close. Didn't go super far. First one that we actually got running. Yep. Bobber. Oh, he's pulling now. Doesn't feel huge, but it's hard to tell. He's kind of swimming with me. I'm at leader. Oh, it's nice. Is it? Yeah, it's pretty big. It's not a giant, but it's pretty big. I'm gonna let him run. Yeah, that's not bad. It's a good, good start to the night. Yeah. Better than mine. Yep, that's a good walleye. I'm not gonna say it's a nine pounder, but wow, he is revved up. Look at this, right underneath the hole. Oh, he just keeps cruising through. It's a good walleye. Come on back, buddy. Get your head up. <laughs> wow, look at that, guys. Another beauty walleye. What an awesome way to start the year. It's the second decent one for me. Again, not a giant, but wow. That is awesome. I'm gonna go ahead, get them back into the water right away because guys, it is cold. And we do have some wind out here tonight. We don't want those fins getting iced up. Whoo! There you go. Thanks, buddy. Oh, 22? Uh, yeah, well, maybe a little bit longer. I'm gonna say 23. That's a big fish. Big thick ones in here. Not super long, but all the fish are very nice and healthy out of this lake. And again, this is, uh, not a giant for this lake by any means. Very, very good fish, healthy fish, but that is awesome. All right, here we go, tail wave goodbye. Oh, maybe not, thought she was ready. There she goes. All right, see you later, sweetheart. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, baby, that is awesome. We are out here grinding, guys. Ooh, what's that over there? That's another tip up. <laughs> this is crazy, actually. It's only been like 10 minutes since Brandon caught that one. And it looks to be the same exact tip up. So I don't know what the heck's going on here because that's three of the last four tip ups have been that one. I don't care though, let's go on over there and check it out. Not a ton of line. Super far that way, but definitely. Do you swim back? Oh, yeah. 
he swam back a little. Holy cow, he is really far that way. Bigger head shakes, feels like. Yeah, that line's just ripping that direction. Feels... Big head shakes. How big are we talking though? This feels pretty nice. Oh boy. Oh boy, he's getting crazy. Oh boy. We're using fluorocarbon, 15 pound. We stepped up this year. Normally I'm like a 12 pound guy, but this year we said, hey, you know, just give us a little more cushion for moments like this. Makes me feel a little bit better. Oh yeah, it's a decent fish. I saw just a glimpse of him there. Oh yeah, he's right here below the ice. Yep, another dandy. As young as I could be walking and fishing, this was always a spot where we would go and catch big walleyes. And it was always one of my favorite things to do. Oh, actually nice. not gigantic. Like I thought he was a lot bigger than that, but my gauge is off. I haven't caught a big walleye yet this year. This is the first one. Probably a nice like 23, 24 incher, nice and thick. It almost, honest to God, is like a cookie cutter what Brandon caught, but it's not because, well, I mean, I guess I shouldn't say it's not. No, I mine, mean, they could, but. mine had a little bit different dorsal to them. I think I got the players, yeah. so I'll get those for you right now. Healthy, thick fish, probably somewhere in the slot. Not gonna measure it just because it's so cold. He's charged up. There we go. Woo! Best nice sign. Job, Let's go. Give Let me a tail some. kick goodbye. <laughs> Best part is, we're both sharing nice fish so far today. And it's it's early. I mean, this is like 10 minutes after Brandon caught his. Same hole. I don't know what the heck is going on down there, but there's like a feeding frenzy going on. I don't really care. I wanted to get some other tip ups involved, but if this one keeps going up, then that's perfectly fine. They keep on, well I shouldn't say getting bigger, but another nice solid fish. Those are, I mean I hate to keep saying it, but those are just like average. I mean if we really get into a big one, well you guys will know the difference. It's gonna be real big. Oh boy. Another tip up. Oh, 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 oh it's moving, it's moving, it's moving. Hold on there, while I just let me get this. Oh, that's good for it. <laughs> let me just get this tip off out here. Got him. Oh, that's big. Big one? Yeah. Holy. Oh, look at this. Cool. <laughs> Holy crap. Here we go. That thing just started yanking right. Holy cow. Yeah. Is the boot? Yeah, this one's, oh god. It's getting hectic already. Yeah, this one feels bigger than the last one. He's going meter. Already here? Oh yeah, nice one. Oh, that's just still not that big. No, that's a pretty decent one. <sighs> this one's definitely a male. Well, I don't know, maybe it's a female. But, another nice fish. Probably, I don't know, 23 inch range, something like that. A little skinnier than the other ones, but still a real nice fish. Get a release on this. We don't keep, we don't keep anything big out of this lake. This is a very low numbered lake, and we like to keep all the big ones that we possibly can in here. I mean, old age, if they die that way, whatever, but. I'm, I come here to catch a 30 inch walleye. I've been chasing that my whole life and that's the best way to do it right there. That is a fish. It's already made it over the slot, which those fish have a greater chance at getting to that 30 inch range. You wanna keep, obviously you wanna keep all the big spawners in here. It's really important to keep the population. Like the very first walleye that I caught of the night, you can't get that size without that size. So. I'm not telling you guys what to do. You buy your license, do whatever you want, but real important, get those fish back and uh, make sure they swim off real good. But yeah, I gotta get a new hook on this one. Night is still young. That's two tip ups now. In the last 10 minutes, we might be getting another flurry here. Um, we'll have to wait and see, but I'm gonna get this one reset and see what else happens. Woo wee. Well, folks, 
We got some snow. It's been about another hour and a half, almost two hours since you guys have seen us last. Honestly, Nick and I were thinking about calling it and uh, finally we just got another tip up. And uh, I don't know what's going on with the light on this one, but it seems like it's not super happy. Luckily, we saw it right away, so. Yeah, this is probably gonna be our last tip up of the night. Pull a little ice over. Yeah, just a little, you know, that's good. Just gonna go ahead, unpop it. Uh-oh, it spooled. Oh boy. Got him. Thank you. Coming back with me right now. Oh yeah. It's definitely a little bit more weight than the last one, I think, than what I had earlier tonight. It's so hard to tell. Yeah, he was definitely running, cause... Yeah, he just took it out deep, fast. <laughs> we got to this pretty quick. Yeah. Wow. I have a lot of tip-up line on here. <laughs> yeah. I hope this is not a pike. Oh, here we go. No. Yeah, that's gotta be a walleye. Whew, yeah, he just took it out deep. Here we go, bobber. Oh. To run, I'm gonna let him. I don't know how big this is. Definitely head shakes. He's just dancing around. I'm at the leader. Oh, I saw a glimpse. It looked decent. Yeah, it looked not bad. Yep, that's that's pretty nice. Not a giant, but it's nice. A little bit bigger than the other ones. Not a mega giant, but here he is. Come on. Yeah, well, it's just been pretty decent fish tonight. Yeah. Nothing huge, but like. Oh, nice. So hard to get them through this thin ice. Oh. <laughs> yeah, not a super long fish, but he's chubby. Look at that. That is awesome. What a great way to end the night. That is a nice thick fish. I'm gonna say that's again right around that 23 inch range probably. Split dorsal on that fish. Super, super cool. I'm gonna go ahead, get them back down into the water. Again, guys, very cold, super important to take care of these fish. And, uh, wow. <laughs> what an awesome way to end the night. That is fantastic. That is a beauty walleye. That's what we came out here for, is chasing these nice big walleyes, early ice. And uh, super rewarding, absolutely beautiful fish. Awesome colors to these fish up here. Oh boy, that is so cool, look at that. That is so awesome. Yeah, this is what it's all about. I love chasing giant fish, but even these are super rewarding. Ooh, there he goes, with some vengeance on that one. <laughs> Woo! What an awesome way to start the year, guys, to have four quality fish on the night. Again, nothing massive, no nine pounder like last year for our first trip out here this year, but I'll take fish like that all day long. Super important to see them go back healthy. Those are your reproducing fish right there. That is a beautiful fish. Got a little bit of a mess to clean up and uh, we've got a few other tip ups to pull, but I think that's where we are going to end tonight's video. Really appreciate you guys tagging along. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to give us some feedback down in the comment section. Smash that thumbs up button for us. We'd really appreciate that. We wanna know what you guys wanna see out here this year out of us. I mean, we've got a ton of ideas and uh, you know, obviously walleyes are always on our mind, but if there's something different that you guys wanna see, let us know. If the walleye content is what you know brings you guys to our channel let us know of that as well hopefully we can get on some more pan fish maybe some pike fishing videos here in the near future yeah it's been awesome guys thanks so much for tuning in we'll see you guys on the next one tight lines from nb edits